Buoy Health Insights, Scalp Pain. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Buoy Health Insights. Today, we dive into a topic that could be of immediate relevance if you've ever experienced discomfort on top of your head. Yes, we are talking about scalp pain, an often uncomfortable and worrisome condition. You may ask, what causes this perplexing pain on the scalp? Well, that is what we are here to explore. The causes of scalp pain can range from the straightforward, like tension from tight hairstyles, all the way to more serious medical conditions. We'll also discuss when this scalp pain would warrant a trip to the doctor. To begin, if you're experiencing scalp pain, you might also notice skin that feels warm to the touch, or perhaps your scalp is flaking or itching. There may even be a sensation of burning, and in some cases, you might find that this pain spreads from the scalp to your face, jaw, neck, or shoulders. So what could be behind these symptoms? Let's look at the potential causes. One, neurologic causes. These are issues with the nerves themselves, like headaches and trigeminal neuralgia, a nerve condition that affects sensation to your face and can lead to pain spreading to your jaw, teeth, and lips. Viruses may also infect nerves, causing scalp pain. Through autoimmune conditions, certain diseases can cause your immune system to attack the blood vessels in your head, leading to inflammation and scalp pain. Giant cell arteritis, also known as temporal arteritis, is one such example. Three, skin-related issues, conditions such as eczema or dandruff might cause inflammation of the scalp, resulting in excessive itching, tenderness, and, you guessed it, scalp pain. Or environmental factors, spending a lot of time under the sun can cause a scalp burn, very much like a sunburn on your body. Different hairstyles that put stress on the scalp, and even trauma, like a hit or cut to the head, can lead to prolonged pain in the scalp. Now, each of these has additional symptoms that might help clue you in on the root cause. For instance, with giant cell arteritis, you might feel fatigued and have joint pain, a new kind of headache, fever, and muscle aches. But when should you seek medical care for scalp pain? Well, if you've suffered a head injury and it's accompanied by pain, a new headache, or if you're experiencing confusion, it would be wise to visit a doctor. Similarly, Symptoms of a severe skin abscess, like fever or a significant neck lump that's also red, warrant a trip to the emergency room. In the event of a whitehead causing discomfort, most cases can be managed with good hygiene and over-the-counter treatments. Just look for products containing benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. So, what should you do if you're experiencing scalp pain? First, observe the quality of your pain. Is it dull or sharp? Is it constant or does it happen only at particular times? Identifying such patterns can be crucial for you and your doctor to pinpoint the exact cause and find the appropriate treatment. Remember, if you're dealing with scalp pain, taking note of all accompanying symptoms is critical to determining the underlying cause. Most causes of scalp pain, while discomforting, are benign and treatable once the right medical attention is obtained. Before we wrap up, we always encourage you to engage with health information actively. So like and subscribe for more insights that empower you to understand and manage your health better. Stay informed, stay proactive, and take the time to care for your health and well-being. Until next time on Boy Health Insights, take care and see you in the next video.